What the Dutch government crisis says about immigration. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte has resigned due to a divide over immigration policy, triggering new general elections in the fall. The disagreement arose from proposals to create a two-tiered asylum system and disagreements over family reunification policy. Although Dutch immigration policy is already stricter than many European nations, an increase in migration from countries like Tunisia and Pakistan has reignited the migration policy debate. Migration to Europe has been driven by factors such as the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic conflict in Ukraine and parts of Africa, and parts of Africa and political and social crises in the global south. However, the political and social context for migrants arriving now is different from that of refugees who arrived in 2015. Migration trends to the European Union have become more complex, with the number of irregular border crossing increasing by 66 from 2021 to 2022. Migration from Ukraine, Morocco, Tunisia, Pakistan, Syria, and Afghanistan has seen an uptick. Tunisian President Kais said has implemented a racist crackdown on black African migrants. Migration from Pakistan has also increased, driven by volatile government and economic instability. Europe has become more polarized since the 2015 migrant arrivals, with right-wing and anti-migrant sentiment on the rise. Germany has had success integrating migrants, but the right-wing alternative for Germany party has exploited fears and pushed anti-immigrant ideology. European Union interior ministers have reached a potential solution in June to share responsibility for unauthorized migrants, but it still needs to pass through the European Parliament. Thank you for watching till the end. If you enjoyed our news summary on Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte's resignation and the immigration policy divide, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support and likes help us bring you more insightful content. Stay tuned for the latest updates and analysis on global migration trends.